what's going on my hungry hungry humans and welcome back to the hungry road well this is actually the burning boulevard you know it's another street around the neighborhood of hungry world whatever but i have a very special guest with me today meg i really appreciate you joining us today what made you want to do this like you know what's going to happen why why, why are you doing this my philosophy is never say no I like your philosophy. You. Okay, so you've done things like skydiving and bungee jumping and spelunking? Yeah. You actually have? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta talk more about that <laughs> later. But Meg is my friend from Yelp. As you guys know, I'm a Yelper. She's also a Yelper. You're also a Yelp elite. High five. We're out here. We're making things happen. So, you know you know the drill. We're gonna do the sauces and then we'll, we'll do the sauces. Cool? Yes. Cool. All right, sauce number one. You know the deal. Give it a good shot here. Cheers. Ooh, nice classic sauce there. You want more of that, huh? Okay. I ain't give you enough. Yeah. Do that later on. We'll see. So, Meg, your real name is Megana, right? Or how do you how do you say it? It's I pronounce Megana. Okay. Yes. And where's that from? That's from India. Um, what part of India? South South of India, but it's not the name Megana. It's not specific to any part of India. But my last name. Arcot is actually a small town in India. Arcot? Yeah. Like A-R-C-O-T? A-R-C-O-T. Okay. What, what's your middle name? Is that a, uh, don't we, have one? we don't have middle names. I, oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. So, Meg, I see you have quite the spread here. You came prepared for what we're about to do today or what we're going to continue to do today. Yeah. You did research on... Yeah, I was watching this episode of Hot Ones with Gordon Ramsay. Okay. And it was so funny that he kept pulling stuff out of his bag. <laughs> I actually haven't and seen that one. Yeah, it was so hilarious. I thought, that's when I thought I should research on what uh, kind of like helps with the okay. well, with so, all the spiciness. So we got donuts, crackers, guacamole, lemons. lemons. What's in these two cups here? So this is some yogurt with some brown sugar and this is milk. All right, regular buttermilk, which is churned yogurt and lemon. Churned yogurt and lemon in here. Oh, you are not and, playing. And lemon. Oh, lemonade. lemonade. These little cute oh. little cups of little birds. <laughs> I dig it. Wait. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So sauce number two here is the okay. island one here. Nice little fruity flavor. Cheers. Woo. That's sweet. Mm hmm Tropical. It's light. It's delicious. Yep. Nice and fluffy. So, Meg. What got you into Yelp? Do you remember? How long you been? I've been elite for seven years. All I've right. been on Yelp for almost eight, nine years. And when I moved from India, I didn't know anybody here. And it, Yelp was a good way for me to socialize, meet new people, try new food. That's what got me into Yelp. Yeah. Okay, so when I first came to Connecticut. Okay. All right, that makes yeah. sense. All right, yeah. good deal. You have like a favorite place you've been so far? I know, there's so many. But well, one got one got to come to your head immediately. Uh, it's, I like Sparrow in West Hartford. Sparrow? Yeah. I've never been there. What, is, what kind of restaurant is that? It's a pizza place. Okay. It's almost like artisan pizza, I would say. Ah, uh, like quite nice. brick oven sort of thing? Or? Yeah, it's like tin crust and specialty pizzas. Sparrow. All right, yeah. I'll put that on my list. Thank you. So to piggyback off the last question, Yelp, Yelp Elite, you've mentioned that. What, what is Yelp Elite? Can you tell, tell me what that is? Yelp Elite is kind of like a status where people um, give you preference, like your reviews are noted. Like a bunch of like, 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 like super writers or something, like nerds? Yeah, like people, um, they appreciate, if a Yelp Elite writes a review, it's kind of like genuine. It's like certified, ticker certified. Uh, certified. Ah, so you're verified. You're a verified, you're verified. Yelper. <laughs> that makes it. So how do you become yeah. elite? So initially it was quite hard. You had to like have a picture up, your real picture, your name, real name. You have to post a bunch of reviews, uh, pictures, check-ins. You gotta like mm. be really active. All right. And it took a lot of hard work to get be an elite. You Not gotta... as simple as it's nowadays. Oh, so you got to keep your status too every yeah, year, like a Michelin year. star or something. It's kind of like a Michelin star. Yeah. All right. Well, I was so excited about to ask you about that question. I forgot to eat the wing. Cheers. Yeah. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. 
delicious every time but it's starting to get there starting to feel it all right sauce number four the los calientes by hot ones cheers Woo! i can already feel the burn in my lips you do yeah you feel it already not bad don't you like the heat i love the heat mm -mm -mm. summertime in jamaica this is good so to continue with the theme what is your definition of a foodie foodie someone who loves food who inspires other people to go to these places eat food do it with your eyes first eat with your eyes first yeah so is a foodie allowed to like not like something like cilantro <laughs> or onions yeah, because I don't eat meat, but I still write reviews about it. I take pictures about it. I make it look good. You got me there feeding are other people. Like I eat chicken. Chicken. I'm a pseudo vegetarian. Oh, okay, so you like pescatarian? Mm, yes. All right. The Persian chicken is. We okay, could have gone vegan. The hot ones episode that came out today okay. with um Emma. Somebody was a she had, they had vegan wings. Oh. We could have gone vegan. It's okay though. Next time, you know. Yeah. For season fine. 19 or 20, when we get the yeah. other sauce, we can do this again. Okay. All right. So foodies, they inspire other people to get out and try other different foods. Yeah, you, you need to have this love for culture and explore and. I, don't know, I like so that much. love for culture because every culture is a little bit different. Yeah, there's so much everybody has to offer. I like it. Thank you. Number five, you know what time it is. Seventh Reaper, let's check it out. Okay. Cheers. Woo! Guys, do you know I just learned? It's Meg's birthday. <laughs> let's all sing happy. All right, we're going to do the whole thing. But happy birthday, Meg. Thanks for being here on the Burning Boulevard and choosing to torture yourself like this with me on your very special day. What? One more, one more. Cheers. Yeah. We're going out after this. We're getting... <laughs> What what a day to celebrate! It's mm. the best way to celebrate it. I like her. <laughs> I like you, Meg. So Meg, earlier, go ahead. I got a long sentence. Go ahead. Earlier, you mentioned you moved from India. Now you live here in the states. Have you lived anywhere else? Yeah, I lived a year in China before moving here. A year. Yeah. All right. Um, go ahead. What? So my husband was it's all through work so he got uh, a job at china to train his employees there um so that's why we moved we just moved for like maybe a year okay and that was an awesome experience it was really an adventure like what part of china shanghai well that's like a big city isn't it yeah it's like new york it, it is it is <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because like a lot of these was it foreign countries have these metropolises that just look like a bunch of skyscrapers right yes okay so that's the thing about china from on up top it looks like new york with skyscrapers and everything but when you go underneath there's like a whole other city underground underground whoa yeah. beyond subways and stuff yeah that's where your subways are and there's markets there's shops there's like a whole other city underneath that reminds me of montreal there's like a big mall right, that right, goes yeah. right underneath you've been to montreal yeah. okay you know what i'm talking about yeah now you told me you were only supposed to be in the united states for six months but now it's been how many years hmm always 12 12 years 12 years why, why why didn't you leave i came here with the intent of just living here for six months that's the uh, that's how much visa i had oh your visa okay but we ended up we came with two bags and two suitcases two yeah two bags that's what you roll out on okay the flight, right so and here i am 12 years later and this is home now all right well do you like it here it's a good time yeah absolutely all right well uh, obviously this I, yeah i miss family <laughs> uh, um you ever go home um i try to go every year all right that makes sense all right yeah yeah well good deal well, right. thanks for hanging out and staying for so long. Yeah, I mean, I've met awesome people here, like you guys. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, number six, you know what it is. College and Ghost. Woo, let me get some extra on here. I can 
can already feel the heat. Meg! Not too bad. You're pretty well traveled. I would say. Where's your favorite destination? Like you're, where, that you, it's hitting, huh? Oh, wow. Where's your favorite vacation destination? Antarctica. Antarctica? Yep. You've been? How'd you do that? <laughs> um, been on a cruise to Antarctica. See, that's what, babe, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so, what I love about it is the sun never sets. Like oh, you're single out like there. that. No, no, single like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're out there. Um, so you know how the, the winter is a switch, right? So. Oh, you're going to start having Yeah. In, the, in January. And mm -hmm. So when you travel there, it's the New Year's. Mm -hmm. it, I, it was one of those nights, New Year nights. So everybody was partying. Parties. And we're outside on the deck, and then we see the sunset on one side, and ten minutes later, it rises on the other. That's crazy. That is so awesome. That's the best thing I've ever seen. Antarctica. What? Yeah. What? Do you remember a cruise it was? It was a cruise. What kind? Remember? Um, I think it's a hall in America. It's in. This is my own. Ships. This is for my own research. Oh. Yeah. I want to go. I don't know how else to get there. You can't fly into an airport. Yeah, it's a 21 day cruise. It sails all. Three weeks? Yeah. Sheesh. It sails all around the border of uh, South. Three weeks? I got to be South retired for that. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, so. It's hot. Uh, yeah, it's kicking in. It's all right, though. Where is your. Where do you want to go? Where's your next dream destination? I have a couple of them. Um, Give us a few. I want to go to the top three on my list are Ireland, Belgium, and Morocco. Why? So, Why? Let's, let's well, just, just Ireland. Why Ireland? Why Ireland? I, I haven't been there. Okay. So, uh, I've been to all uh, about seven continents. Forty. You've been to all seven? Yeah. 47 odd countries. 47? Oh my goodness. Yeah. I've been traveling since I was 10 years old. Well, all right then. I just thought you had a head start. Yeah, but well, my grandfather loved to travel and he's the one who inspired us and all right. he took us everywhere. Well, cheers to your grandfather getting you going. Yeah. Or should we do it with milk or not that hot yet? Oh, <laughs> I think this is helping too. All right, guys, a little, little announcement here. So my, my bottle number seven, Tear Figs Curse, it actually broke in shipping. So I have a bottle from my man, Lou May. If you don't know who Lume is, I'm going to put his information up here on the screen. He runs the Quarantines podcast along with his co-host, Kristen Renee. Check him out on IG. It's going to be up here somewhere. But we got a sauce from Uganda. That's where he's from. Shout out to you, Fred. His dad got it for me. So this is going to be the replacement number seven sauce. I tasted it, and I've appropriately put it in the lineup. All right, Meg. Number seven, or what I said earlier, 7.8. Cheers, woo! Mmm. Mmm. See, I thought I was from India and I'm so used to eating spicy food I could handle this, but this is nothing like it. This is not that bad. Hi, I don't know about that. It's not like that bad. Building up some sweat beads. It ain't that bad at all. You'd be alright. So, while on your Instagram, you know, I got stuck in Instagram to get some questions. You had like a, a video of a polo match. Yeah. Now, what's your association with polo? Do you play? You own some horses we don't know about? I wish I did. Oh, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, that's on Richmond. I don't know, oh, man. I, I don't know. You was talking about Antarctica. I don't know, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, I don't. But as you said, I love to experience culture and new things. So I try to find as many new things as I can to do around me. And I found this place in Farmington. There's a Farmington Polo Club. Yep, that's where the car shows are. Yeah, they, they have the car show. And mm -hmm. after, um, I think, at the same time, they, they have polo matches I see after. Them, it's a running around over there. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so it's like you amazing. Look, They're like professional players. Do like, you just enjoy the sport? You don't play at all? I don't, I don't play any kind of sport, but I love to watch it. You just like horses. I love horses. All right, yeah. all right, with the horses running around. Yeah, that's I love cool. Horses. I appreciate that. That makes sense. I didn't know. Thank you. 
All right, Meg, you already know what time it is. This is the reason most of the remedies are on the table. The donuts, the crackers, guacamole, lemon, bread, carrot, celery, yogurt, tortilla chips, lemonade. Let's cheers with the little birdie lemonades. Happy birthday. Woo! Thank you. This is, this is the cutest glass. Mm. The West Tart. Oh, yeah, we're ready now. Let's do this. The Bomb Evolution. The Cheers. one that I've been fearing. Let's go for it. All right. Mm. <laughs> it's almost comical how fast it hits you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. You got a little bit left over there. I'm going to go back and finish all of those. Mm. All right. It's your, it's your funeral. But I heard... You were in the IT field. Are you allowed to tell us what you do in the IT field? Yeah, um, I'm a data engineer, so I deal with a lot of database related stuff. The, okay, stuff. <laughs> are, are, you coding? are you coding? Yeah. Are you a programmer? Programmer. Mm, so like, you ever seen the movie Swordfish? No, so there's this so. dude, he got like six screens. You, you, you're yeah. right, you're, you good over there? This is intense. A little bit. Yep, it's hurting. I feel it. How you doing? You good? So yes. So you, you go to you go to work or you work from home, whatever you do. Oh. And you just like you just do some putin. And you just what do you do? So, yeah, we're gonna we're doing some of this. I never had this. What is it? Buttercream milk? That's buttermilk. Buttermilk. It's just churned, uh, churned yogurt. yogurt. It's gonna help you. Ah. It's like milk, but... Is it helping you? I don't know. Let's see. I don't think it's helping I you. I can't think straight after this. We give it a little bit. Yep, yeah, this is where everything goes south. We're drinking all the things. Mm. So, how'd you get into IT? Uh, <laughs> this fire coming out of my... I can see it. Oh. My teeth are hurting. Yep, I heard. But you answered my question. How'd you get into IT? How did I get into IT? Yeah. Oh. Like in information. India, in India, the only two things you are is either a doctor or an engineer. Oh, and okay. So it doesn't matter what field of engineering you do, you end up in IT. <laughs> no matter which way you do. <laughs> All right, that works for us. <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you. All right, Meg, let's finish this up. Number nine. Cheers. Woo! The psycho hot sauce. Psycho hot. Mm-hmm. They're so appropriately named. Mm-hmm. They sure are. Oh. That's not as bad as number eight. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. <laughs> this buttercream was a good idea. I dig it. Churned yogurt. That's crazy. <clears throat> so, Matt, I'm going to give you two questions. Okay. And you pick one to answer. All right. So, one or A, do you have any guilty pleasures? B, do you have any hidden talents? Pick one, answer it. Guilty pleasures. Yeah. What do you like to do? What's your vice? Is midnight snacking a wife? I think that works. So like you go to bed at like 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock and you get up at like midnight, grab your snack. I sometimes go to bed at 10 o'clock and the only incentive is like, oh my God, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and I'm going to drink a cup of coffee. Okay. I go to bed thinking about food. I think most of us do. A lot of us. I know I do. I be, man, when I go to bed and I know I got a good a brunch coming up or a breakfast, yeah. I be excited for that breakfast. Yeah, and sometimes like I can't sleep. I, you know, you have this craving, and you have to eat this uh, this thing, and you can't sleep. It's in your fridge. There's so many times I've got up in the middle of the night just to eat food. Have you ever left the house at midnight to go get food? Yes, I have. Tell me that story. Oh my God! Oh, so there's this cookie place up the street that's open. What? It's open till like two a.m. Is it insomnia? Insomnia. Ah. I've heard good things. 
I hate that it's open that late. <laughs> it allows you to go. <laughs> yeah, and it's too close for comfort. It allows you to go to your best party. It's too close for me. So I have this craving in the middle of the night, and I'm like, I have to eat something sweet. So do you have a favorite cookie that they are the flavor? Double chocolate. So like chocolate cookie with chocolate chips? Chocolate cookie, chocolate chips, just melting and gooey. Oh my God. Can you wait just to get it back home to eat it, or do you eat it on the way back? I, I eat it before I exit the store. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first person in line when they opened the store. It, it opened um, on the first day it opened. Oh, like a new location. New location. And 8 a.m., and I was the first person in line. So you probably hadn't slept the whole night because you was waiting in line. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> That's what foodies do. That's what the foodies do. Oh. That's All right, Meg, we're here at the end. Like tradition, go ahead and put a little extra the last dab on your wing. I got my special box here. It's already so much of it. Nah, this, this is just a little dab, man. You just got to do a little, one, you know, a little dab. <gasps> Mine look a little light You're though. Mean. I am not mean. I am You're super mean. I am fair. Oh, shit. I am flows like. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like water. Sweet. Thank you for being here on a burning boulevard. I pre genuinely appreciate you on your birthday I, at that. I hate milk or the smell of milk, but I'm gonna Are you, you gonna milk it before we even do the wing? That's probably a good idea. I need it. But I'm out of milk. I, I bitched out a long time ago. Woo! Mmm. Good chicken. Mmm, my sauce is so sweet. So airy and delicious. It's gonna smack you in the face. Mm. So, man, my last question for you. Because forget they didn't even took out the flavor from that sauce. They didn't take the flavor out? Yeah, they took out the flavor. Just put the... Which is just, just, just straight heat. Just <laughs> heat. Oh. There's a stereotype of Indians having a high tolerance for spice. I know. That's what I thought before I signed up for this. After this challenge, how do you feel about that stereotype? See, I used to laugh at people because they made you sign a waiver before tasting this, and now, now I know why. These, uh, are, these aren't waiver worthy. Not think, a waiver? You think I so? think I need insurance. Yeah, insurance. Yeah. I hope you do. Like, uh, <laughs> I wasn't here. They should have like hot wings insurance. How would I would I'm curious to how that would happen. How does that even work? That could be a business. Hot wings insurance. <laughs> you ate too much hot sauce and you had an ulcer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it helped. You're covered. You're covered. <laughs> All right, man, we're here at the it. end. Are you, are, you, are you still struggling a little bit? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna, gonna, you gonna do it? Let's all watch you do it. Man, oh. it's your birthday. Go, Shawty. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it. What, 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 what did he say? <clears throat> we don't give a fuck. It's your birthday. <laughs> all right. Oh, We're here at the end. So tell the people what's coming up next in your life. This camera, this camera. What's going on next for you? Anything cool happening in your life? Something coming up? Well, it's the most joyous season. And Christmas? So much, yeah. Okay. And, and I'm looking forward to your Wingsgiving. Wingsgiving, November yeah. 12th. I mean, this video probably won't be out by then. But next year, you guys are invited. <laughs> so Wingsgiving is going to be a blast. Yeah. So Wingsgiving is something I'm trying to put together with the Wing Addicts here in Connecticut. Or I have put together. You, you, you pull up to this brewery. Coles, I'm sorry, the heat is hitting me too. Coles Road Brewing in Berlin, Connecticut. Bring some wings you've cooked at home. You want to know cats or dogs walking on your kitchen counter. Or go buy some wings and bring them and show up. So this year is November 12th, uh, Saturday. But I have no idea what it'll be next year because I ain't looked that far ahead. But all right, guys. Meg, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Cheers. You got the milk. Woo! Yeah, I'm going to use all the remedies that's <laughs> left on this table. Take care, guys. Thank you. Oh, if you're interested in being on the Burning Boulevard to suffer like this, Slide me my DMs, send me an email, I'll make it happen. Get a waiver. Get a waiver? Nah, no insurance. <laughs> <laughs>